Now that we have all had time to digest the new Bleach trailer for the Thousand Year Blood War arc, I wanted to analyse and break down each scene of this trailer, understanding as much as I can about the method that Taguchi and the animation team are going for with their adaptation of Bleach's final arc. I want to pay particular attention to the aesthetic that is being conveyed through the visuals that we see, the use of Taguchi's signature artistic style, and most importantly, if we can gather any new information about scenes that are not within the manga. So this first official trailer that was released on the 2nd of July at Anime Expo. So without further delay, let's begin my frame by frame breakdown and analysis of it. So the trailer begins with the Quincy Emperor song. It is a Quincy folklore tale of a fallen Quincy King who will make his return to one day rule the world. The visuals that we see have this film reel effect and the ominous voice of Yuhobak speaking in the background. The entire beginning of this trailer makes me think of a World War II era aesthetic. It really sets the tone for the upcoming story arc. The visuals of Yuhobak standing within the space that they have created in the shadows, as we see his invisible army lined up marching out into the sunlight. The lighting stylistically shines onto their clothing, with heavy emphasis being placed upon their Quincy crosses glistening in the light. This first scene of the trailer ends with Yuhobak saying, let us go, as his army presumably begins their invasion of the Soul Society. As we have the chilling words being spoken by Yuhobak appear on screen, he states that this is the last nine days of the world. This is taken from chapter 546 when he is speaking to Hashwat and Uryu just before the start of the Quincy's second evasion of the Soul Society. This is a powerful way to begin the trailer as it makes anime only viewers appreciate the threat that Ichigo and company will be up against. With the trailer conveying to us a precise deadline and the enemy are revealed to be a familiar group that we thought were long since extinct as the visual imagery hints at the return of the Quincy and their sealed king. Next up we have this incredible visual of Ichigo with yellow light light shining over him as the title card Bleach the Blood Warfare appears on screen. They have used exactly the same font as the covers of the Bleach manga volumes. In addition to this, the entire scene of the camera panning around Ichigo is in fact an anime exclusive shot that we don't really see within the manga. Either way, it's a nice visual shot and it may have been just made for this trailer only, but I do hope that it will be included as an expanded scene within the actual episodes. Now speaking of this scene, we see how the Reiatsu is animated with this yellow sunset lighting hue that is over the entire scene, as Ichigo charges up his Reiatsu for an attack. During this scene, you will notice the drum beats beginning as we get our first glimpses of Shiro Sagisu's new soundtrack for the Thousand Year Blood War arc. I'm presuming that this is a theme for the Quincy that he has created, since it does an excellent job of conveying this feeling of an imperial military marching to war. Among the incredible animated shots that we see, it is one of my favourite things about this trailer. The trumpets begin blaring as the Bleach logo zooms into the screen, and the Thousand Year Blood War text appears, with the tone really being set that a war is about to begin. The music leads us into the next shot of Ichigo in Hueco Mundo, with this very brief shot of him staring at the ground with a shocked expression that is conveyed through his eyes. His face is overcast with this blue hue, and this is our first proper look at Ichigo when he is trapped within Kirge's prison, as he hears the Soul Society being devastated by the Quincy. All of this takes place within chapter 500. We then see him defend himself from an attack, pushing back his opponent, and you'll immediately notice this mute colour palette with a blue lighting that I'm guessing which is a reflection of the Quincy's Reishi. And you'll also notice these golden particles and lighting effects that are used to charge up Ichigo's counter-attack, which just so happens to be a golden coloured Getsuga Tensho, which is pretty accurate to the digitally coloured manga released by Shueisha. We then get an incredible close-up shot of Ichigo's face with these blue visual particles raining down in front of him as he fires the Getsuga Tensho. Throughout this trailer, there are moments where it pauses featuring several characters with pink text appearing introducing that character to us, and this visual trend begins with the introduction of our protagonist. After the scene unfreezes, Ichigo ends up firing his attack, and I am assuming that this is during his battle against Iben within Karakura Town. It then cuts to Ichigo frantically trying to break out of Kirge's prison, followed by an anime exclusive shot of Ichigo attacking Kirge from behind. Now this is the first proper proof that we have that additional scenes are being added onto the anime, and that the fights will be properly fleshed out. During the Bleach panel, at Anime Expo there was a special message from Kubo, and he had stated that a lot of the battles that he could not include within the manga, he will hope to include within the anime. So there's a lot of hope for us to see battles that took place off screen, like Kimpachi vs Yuhobak and Hashwat vs Uryu. In the following scene, we see this stylistic shot of Ichigo once again firing a golden Getsuka Tensho, but this time towards Kirge. As the shot pans towards the attack, it seamlessly transitions to a black Getsuka Tensho that is fired towards Iben, who appears to be attempting 
to steal Ichigo's Bankai via his medallion. This is where the first member of Yuhobak's army is introduced to us through the Aranka Iben. We've just seen some incredible battle shots and fluidly animated scenes involving our protagonist that you cannot help but to fall in love with. We see some solid moments from his battle with Iben and Kilge being spliced back and forth, which immediately throws us into the action. Then we're introduced to Ichigo's next opponent from these battle scenes, the Stenritter Kilge Oppi, who has some menacing scenes that really showcase his frightening and unforgiving nature. The first, he is intensely speaking into the camera, while during the second scene, we see him turning his head with what appears to be several cloaked Arankas standing behind him. And the third brief clip is a side shot of Kirge, where we see his sinister side glare and once again get to appreciate the blue lighting reflections from the Quincy's Reishi. Then we have this incredible transition to our first glimpse of Rukia, as she yells out desperately in response to her sensing the drop in Byakuya's spiritual pressure. Within the manga, we didn't really get to see who Rukia was battling during the Quincy's first invasion, so I'm hoping things like this are given more detail within the anime. I'm sure that on Kubo's fan club, he had mentioned in a question and answer session that it will be revealed what Sternritter Rukia was facing off against when the anime returns. From this, we cut to a scene where Renji is defending an attack from Asnot, who is using Byakuya's abilities against him. Now, this scene where we see the Zembon Zakura petals that are being used against Renji are visually much brighter than when we see Byakuya use them later on in the trailer. Now, this may be an effect of the Quincy's Reishi being fused with the attack, which gives it a brighter and exaggerated look, or it may just be a stylistic choice of Taguchi for this scene in particular. This shot of Renji defending himself from Zembon Zakura is another exclusive scene that is not seen within the manga. The following scene of Renji is when he charges towards Asnot, telling him that he has no right to use Byakuya's ability. This, of course, is just before he is attacked by the Sternritter Mask the Masculine. We then have a close-up shot of Yuhobak smiling with the blue lighting muting out all of the other colours on screen. With this devastating scene from chapter 494 of the Serite being lit up by the explosive ratio of the Quincy as they launch their invasion of the Soul Society. I really love the way that these pillars of light are portrayed here. They are devastating while at the same time being beautiful to look at. This is again another visual choice from the director Taguchi and it differs from the visual choices that the director of the 2004 Bleach anime Noriyuki Abe would have done. With the change in director there is a big difference to how attacks and effects are visually conveyed. So after this shot of the Soul Society being destroyed, there is strangely a close-up shot of a Hell Butterfly, which has a lot of fans speculating that the new Breeds from Hell special chapter may actually be adapted into the anime after the Thousand Year Blood War arc, since Kubo is working on an all-new story arc centered around Hell. So continuing with the trailer, the music takes a somber turn, as we then get two shots of the captains of the Gotei 13 who have assembled for a meeting. This is again another one of my favourite moments from the trailer, from how well the proportions of the characters are portrayed, with the orange lighting and the stern expressions of the captains while they are being informed of the Quincy threat. The music then briefly pauses as we are shown some impressive shots of head captain Yamamoto, with the music once again building up to signal a faster, more intense shift in the trailer. The first shot is of the head captain standing in front of this towering wall of fire that is taken straight out of chapter 505 after he defeats Driscoll Bercy. Then the music kicks in as my favourite part of this new OST starts, and you can definitely tell that this is Shiro Sagisu composing the soundtrack, as it reminds me a lot of what we got during the Hellburst movie and the fake Karakura Town arc. We have this amazing operatic choir that is accompanying the intense instrumental beat. We then see Yamamoto unleash his Shikai and swing towards the invaders just as they escape into the shadows. Then a slow motion close-up of Head Captain Yamamoto after he destroys the Quincy Arrow that impales his Lieutenant Sasakibe. Immediately after this, we see Soifon charging towards the Sternritter BG-9, and then a shot of her wiping blood off of her face. Now, both of these scenes are anime exclusive moments that give us hints that their battle will actually be padded out within the anime. We may even be able to see some of BG-9's abilities here, which we never got to see within the manga. I genuinely feel so reassured that this trailer is giving us enough proof that the battles involving the Shinigami who had their Bankai stolen will be expanded upon, because so many key moments occur off screen during this arc. And in all honesty, I can only vividly remember Ichigo vs. Kirge, Byakuya vs. Asnod, and Yamamoto vs. Yuhobak from the first invasion. So it's going to be incredible to actually see these key fights involving Hitsugaya, Soifon, and Komamura also get some much needed attention. We then cut to a scene of Shinji running that is taken straight out of the manga after he learns about the Quincy being able to steal their Bankai. Then another incredible moment within this trailer is showcased as we see a frantic Byakuya rush attack the Sternritter Asnot. Watching this scene in motion 
and makes you appreciate the fluidity of the animation and just how incredible it looks paired up with the amazing soundtrack that gives this sense of urgency and desperation. This appears to be after Byakuya loses his composure and has succumbed to Asnot's fear. We can tell this from the wound that Byakuya sustains from chapter 501. This means that this clip of Byakuya striking Asnot is another anime exclusive scene. Since Asnot had immediately cut him down in the manga, I didn't really give him a chance to retaliate. We continue from here with a really nice shot of Byakuya activating his Zenbon Zakura petals from the start of his battle with the Senrita. Now this is what I was talking about earlier when I had mentioned that his abilities were much brighter when they are being used by Asnot in comparison to this muted look now. This may be because the petals are scattering out in front of him and if they were too bright then it would be difficult to see him behind them. Then there are some very rapid successive shots of Bambietta charging towards Komomura which once again is another anime exclusive moment as she attacks him. There is more proof that these battles between the captains and the Stenritters will be flashed out. Then there is an impactful shot of Kimpachi just going for Yuhabak with his maniacal laughter from chapter 503. Now this is one fight that I really want to see within the anime since in the manga Kimpachi just got taken care of off screen and continuing with the fast pace we see Hitsugaya clashing with Kangdu which again is another anime exclusive scene. We then see a scene straight from the manga as Shunsui rushes towards the enemy after he senses the head captain arrive onto the battlefield which boosts his morale. We get this really nice uncensored close-up shot of Shunsui which leads us on to a brief look at Ukitake reacting to the news that their Bankai can be stolen. The following scene is of Mayuri from the start of the Thousand Year Blood War arc where he comments upon the large-scale disappearance of Hollows as he states that only one group could be capable of such a feat. Now in my trailer reaction I'd actually praise this scene as I love Taguchi's exaggerating lighting here as it makes the red really pop out of this scene giving us a sense of impending danger through the warning lights blaring within the Research and Development Institute. We then cut to a glimpse of Unahana, then Kensei and lastly Rose. The music after reaching its climax begins to once again slow down as the operatic singing continues, taking us into a shot of Basby turning his head with a wall of blue Quincy Reishi erupting from behind him, followed by a scene of his childhood friend Hashward from chapter 494 where he states that the Stenrita have arrived to purge the Shinigami. In the manga we see the Reishi erupting from behind him but in the anime this is further emphasized as it is given much more of a brighter look. This is followed by rapid close-up shots of the various Shinigami and Quincy as they appear within the new key visual, with the Quincy having a blue background and the Shinigami having this reddish pink colour behind them. Between these shots we see several shots of Yuhabak with the music building up leading up to the final full screen look at Yuhabak before the screen goes to black, revealing to us the top half of the new key visual with the Shinigami and the bottom half of the Quincy. And this part of the trailer wraps up with a scene that we had seen earlier of Ichigo firing the Getsuka Tensho towards Eben which beautifully transitions into the end title screen. The final very brief shot clip is voice acted and taken straight from chapter 512 when Byakuya humbly pleads with Ichigo to save the Soul Society. Now easily this is the most detailed shot of the entire trailer and is saved till the very end. I just pray that everyone who watched the trailer stuck around after the end title card for this treat. We have this incredible panning shot of Ichigo that captures the intense artwork of the manga with the pouring rain and the serious expression of Ichigo which in my opinion has been translated so well during this final scene that we see in the trailer. This is one of my favourite moments within the Bleach manga and it is one that I have wanted to see animated for years and to finally see it being properly animated and brought to life here gives me chills and it is truly a superb note to end the trailer on, setting the tone for the final arc and getting us all hyped for moments that will live up to the dramatic title of the arc, The Blood Warfare. In my initial trailer reaction I spoke a lot about the character designs, the artistic choices of the director as well as Kubo's exclusive comments and how he will be expanding the battles within the manga. If you want more details on the Thousand Year Blood War arc anime adaptation and my initial reaction to this new trailer then definitely check out that video I released a few days ago. As for this breakdown and analysis this is why I hand over the discussion to all of you. From this breakdown it is evident that we will have anime exclusive content, the art, animation and the soundtrack also seem to have set a high standard for our expectations. I just pray that the animation staff can maintain this level of quality throughout the run of this new series. But yeah, let me know all of your thoughts on this new trailer. Did you pick up on anything that I have not spoken about? Did I mention some points that you had overlooked? Definitely continue the discussion in the comments and stick around for all of the latest Bleach news by subscribing and turning on the bell notifications so that you 
you don't miss any of the new developments. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.